Although last week Governor Greg Abbott gave the green light for museums to open back up, the Woody has chosen to remain closed to staff and visitors. We were not ready to, for the safety of our wonderful Witty team and the safety of our wonderful Witty visitors and our families, our multi-generational families. So it's taken us time. Time to order and install plexiglass protectors and six foot distance markers, but also to plan ahead and reach out to museums worldwide to learn about the best safety methods for an interactive museum like the Witty. Fortunately, the designers that designed the new Witty, Gallagher and Associates, have museums in Singapore and Israel and all over and Singapore museums had already opened, so they already had to grapple with this. The Woody will first open its doors to its members on May 27th, and then the grand reopening will take place on Saturday, May 30th for the general public and safety measures are being installed as we speak. Masks will be required for everyone to wear and anyone who walks in the Woody will receive a stylus. Every guest will receive a stylus pen to help eliminate contact with touchscreens or audio devices. A lot of what we have at the Witty are hands-on, and so anything hands-on will be removed from the galleries, but we will still keep the interactive experiences, which are so fabulous. McDermott says the museum will operate at a 25% capacity, which will give families more than enough space to feel comfortable throughout their 10-acre property. You know, we've been here since 1926. This is a generational place. People have grown up here for generations. And so really people miss the witty and we miss the people. Ticket sales are encouraged to be made online. And while you're there, you can explore witty where you are to experience or download activities for kids and families related to cuisine, weather, gardens, birds, and much more. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.